Hello, this is Nickfinity. I jailbroken my iPhone a while ago, but I never made a video about what I did with it. So here's my unlock screen. As you can see, my battery charger is a Coca-Cola can, and it fills up when it charges. And my little slider down here is a Packers logo, and I have green scrolling text down there where it says slide unlock. So I unlock it. First thing you'll notice is that my dock is different. It has five icons in a cover flow style. And like the actual iPod, you iPod slash iPhone interface just has a four buttons down there. The email, the phone, iPod, and Safari. So, as you can see in the upper left hand corner, I have Nickfinity up there instead of AT&T. In the upper right hand corner, next to the battery, you see it says 43 degrees. That is the current temperature where I am. Um, as you can see, I have the text green color instead of white. And I have a different background besides uh, normal black. I prefer this one. Looks better. So, I just slide over to the different things that I have. Site of uh, Facebook. Yeah. Quick. It's pretty cool. You can uh, stream videos to quick.com. QIK. So you can. It's a live stream so people can watch what you're doing and they can chat to you on here if they want to and so yeah that's what so it works good I'm using a program called demo god for the Mac which allows you to broadcast what's on your iPhone screen to your computer through Wi-Fi, of course. So it's a bit laggy, about a second off. Um, one cool program I have, it's not Twinkle, but I'm gonna go into Twinkle and show this. So, lockdown. You can require a password for any app that you want. That is not my real password, so if you know who I am and you steal my phone or borrow it, think you have the password, nice try. It's not it. Just change it for this video. <coughs> so yeah, it's quick for Twitter. If you're using Twitter, add me or follow me. It's uh, twitter.com slash nickfinity. So yeah. <coughs> Pretty cool about the lockdown. Um, yeah, it's about all I can really think of to show you right now. <clears throat> See, if you guys haven't uh, heard of Flight Control Game, it's on the bottom row here should uh, check it out at the app store it's at 99 cents as of right now but I heard they're going to be raising the price very soon so you're an air traffic control person and you have to land planes and helicopters without making them crash I'll show you a quick demo of it um, I can't real I can rotate the screen for the iPhone, but since I'm in the middle of recording, I can't change the recording area, so you're gonna have to bear with me here for um, watching this sideways. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's starting to hurt. Um, so, yeah, here's the main screen. Click play, and there'll be airplanes flying in, so you just touch it and drag to the runway create the path 
and as soon as the planes or helicopters turn white, that means they're on final approach and ready to land. As you can see, up here in the right hand corner, my high score is 60 so far. Now I'll show you what happens as the planes crash into each other. Start blinking right around them, then they just stop and start blinking. I know there's a delay with this. It, the game is not laggy, it's all nice and smooth. This is program that I'm using. It's a little bit of lag transferring everything from my phone to computer via Wi Fi. So, yeah, it's one of my favorite games that I bought on the App Store. So, yeah, okay, I really don't know what else to show you. It's my jailbroken iPhone. I am so glad I did this. So, a lot better than the Apple default. Uh, stupid, they won't let you jailbreak it and change the uh, settings on it, although you own the phone. Whatever. I don't care. I like this, and I'm still buying apps in the App Store, so it's not like they're losing money from me. Yeah, I've spent a lot of money in there because I got gift cards for iTunes for Christmas, so I'm still spending money in there. Anyways, that's it. I thought I'd give you an overview on my jailbroken iPhone. Thank you for watching.